right, so how did we end up after bailing? We had a bit of an issue with our hay carts. The problem is that uh, dew started falling, of course, because it was nine o'clock. The dew was coming up out of the ground. So these were starting to get heavy. And a lot of these were registering at about 18% moisture. Um, I think that one was like 25% maybe. Eric did test the bales that were up there and they measured out at about 14% moisture. So that's actually really good. But the ones on the end here and all of this in here, not quite so good. So we have a discussion as to what to do with this. The last option, of course, is breaking them all open and rebaling them at a lighter weight. We ended up with about 250 to 260 bales, probably closer to 300 if we went through and rebaled them. Because usually we shoot for about 50 pound bales, maybe 55, 60. But if they're 80 pounds, then that's, that, that's not good for anybody. The people that buy it don't want 80 pound bales. We've got that stuff there that needs to be rebaled. And then stuff in the wagon over there that needs to be rebaled. I think it was the other one that ended up slicing my finger. So this is what my thumb looks like now. And it's going to always have a giant split in the side of it. Life on a farm. And again, we're going to shoot for 40 pound bales. Uh, simply because I want them to dry. So the looser I can pack them, the better they'll dry. Maybe we'll stack them on ends too, because I've heard that, that helps with drying. build a house with these things and have some great insulation. The R value is extremely high on these things. hay season. The cats, the kids, yeah pretty much those two. But yeah we're gonna start on this tomorrow because I'm not ready to tackle this tonight. Alright so we got the back backer. The tractor backed in. It's a little bit tight with the hay bales here but I managed to kind of squeeze in. So they're basically gonna land right here in a pile and then I can move them over there and stack them up. Hopefully. It's gonna be loud. So I've got my hearing protection. It's gonna be dusty, so I have my dust mask. Made by my friend Vicky. Let's go.
shove it right in the middle. Yep, push hard. There you go. Now push the water droplet button. Let's see what it says. 23.4. So we're gonna hope that this is gonna breathe tonight. Um, those are a couple of bad ones over there. Uh, you wanna poke it in that guy up there? Pull it out. Yep, stab it right in the side. Mm. There, okay. I won't go too far. Right in the middle. Yep. Push. 17.9, that's not bad. The horse has got a whole pile of hay out here. Oh, I see it's out there. There's just a little bit left. I guess they had thrown like two full bales out and they plowed through it overnight. So anyway, they said the horses tore right into it. So I was gonna try and get it on video so you guys could actually see the horses tearing into it and see kind of their first reactions to it. But uh, that's not gonna happen because they already fed you, didn't they? Yes. And that's my biggest concern because the horses are really picky on their hay. Uh, the cows more so, so maybe we'll feed some to the cows and see what they do. There we go. That's probably okay. That'll be enough. Let's... Okay. All right, pull it over to the moo cows. This way. They're down there. Do you see them? Well, actually, you can't see them. They're hiding. We'll go this way. Through the grass. All right, where's the cows at? Oh, there they are. Hey guys! Oh, watch out for this. Mom's little thing fell over. Mom's fence fell over. What you girls doing? They said, we thought we're going to the butcher tomorrow, Mom, so we're getting ready. Sorry ladies, you gotta wait till next week. Man, we need some major mowing out here. It's gonna be short my fence out. Okay, there you go. Do you wanna put it right here? Yeah. Scoop some out and put it right through the bars. Put it right here. Yeah, shove it right through that hole. There you go. Let's see if she wants it. Oh, it looks like it's ginger approved. What's that? That's a cow. Do you want to snip you? So they didn't want the celery, but they like the hay. There you go, good job. Ooh. So this is what we wanna see. We wanna see that it's cow approved because they are literally the pickiest eaters. More so than the horses. Plus they still have delicious grass out here to eat. Oh yeah, yeah, tasty. Oh yeah, tasty? Yes, I know, it was made with lots of love. Yes it was. And I think that's the difference maybe with our hay versus some of the other people's hay is that they can really sense like the time and commitment put into it, like the quality that I'm shooting for. It's like grandma's home cooking, except I didn't really cook the grass, I cut it and the sun cooked it. But you know, grandma's home cooking, like some of you have like amazing cooks for grandmas and some of you don't. I had one grandma that cooked really good and one grandma that cooked like, mm. But you still knew, when you ate grandma's food, it was made with love. Even if it wasn't like the best of the best. But it was still made with love, so it was still good. And that's what my hay is, made with love. And it comes out and the animals, even if it's rained on and not as top, top quality as you aim for, they still know that it's made with love and there still is that quality ingredient in there that you just can't put your finger on. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you've enjoyed this video. Um, go back and look through the other videos on the channel. There's all sorts of various random crazy things. And uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. So hope you guys are having a great week and best of luck to you, especially if you're farming. Bye.